So guys, uh, let's take a journey together, okay? Imagine you're sitting with your friends, playing a video game, and after some time, you start uh, realizing you're really good at this game. That may, after a few days, you start looking into internet, exploring content related to that game, some tips and tricks, something which can make your gameplay even better. One fine night, you stumble upon a great opportunity. There is a tournament happening with crores of prize pool. Yes, real, actual, big money. That makes you wonder, can I be that guy who can win everything? Am I good at this game? If that thought arises and if yes is the answer, that's the doorway from where you can be, uh, you take your passionate hobby and turn into a career. And that, my friend, it was what esports is all about. It's a passionate industry with a lot of moving parts. Esports is just like traditional sports, which requires a lot of mental and physical skills. Skills like team building, strategic decision making, quick thinking. And esports is a bit different in terms of there are no restrictions. There are no restrictions to time, place, or age for some extent. Esports requires good high to end uh, coordination. It requires crazy good skills. It requires some stamina to keep the players sharp match after match. Unlike traditional sports, uh, esports is something which is uh, a bit different. There are people, I mean, gaming is a different concept. It's not just about playing game, sitting somewhere inside the house. It's a social media platform. It's a social interaction platform where like-minded people spend countless hours playing together, enjoying the game. People across the world, there are no timeline restrictions, countries, and beyond that, they play together, they play against each other and understand, and they create a bond, uh, which is farther than life sometimes. Esports lie on the same, uh, I mean, uh, outline just like traditional sports. You compete against one another and try to win something. In simple cricketing terms, esports is just a step up from uh, playing, what do you say, playing for uh, franchise, playing for the country. It's just like a, a step up from playing gully cricket, right? Imagine cricket in early 1980s, 1990s, in 2000s. And today, cricket is a vast empire. There are more than 600 million people supporting the club, supporting the franchise, supporting the players. They come to the stadium, they buy tickets, they buy merchandise. And that creates a lot of revenue streams. Esports is an early 2000 era of what cricket used to be. Esports is showing a lot of good signs to becoming the biggest industry. Esports is not just about playing uh, your favorite game. It's a rigorous and demanding job which requires a lot of skill set. You need to study a game and analyze everything. A typical esports athlete in org like ours spend, our, spend at least 10 hours a day honoring his skills, creating or analyzing his gameplay videos, uh, playing with the teammates, understanding what works, create strategies, tactics. Overall, an esports athlete has to face a lot of pressure. There are a lot of expectations from the families, from friends, from the teams. There are sponsors. A typical esports event happens anywhere across the globe. There are multiple leagues. There are multiple World Cups. There are even Olympic is interested in uh, picking up esports. There is going to be Olympic event. I mean, in the next Olympic, there will be esports events. So an esport athlete has to travel countries representing his nation. And this is what keeping esports drive alive. A typical esports athlete's career is always short. An athlete uh, reaches his prime in early 20s. So imagine a player has to leave his house, his parents, everything, relocate to boot camp, company like ours, spend countless hours shaping his skills. And the tough part is there are a lot of people, there are lakhs of people, crores of people trying to do the same just to be the next superstar in the world of esports. So this esports player juggle upon between different opportunities or different things to make this uh, short term success a long term revenue stream. They create their own social media platform, they create streaming channels, they stream a lot, they earn money from uh, branded goods or selling those things. This is when org like ours come into picture. We take care of physical and mental health of the esports athletes. We give proper PR training to these young minds and make them be more stable or be representable in front of a targeted audience to fans. Esports athletes challenges are too much. I mean, 
it's it's a hard industry at the end of the day esports athletes and esports organization work as symbiotes in one hand there are esports athletes who give all their energy their skill set and try to win things for them and they give achievements to the organizations and orgs like us we give training facilities we train them we make them better player and we make them achieve their dreams in an early ages itself i mean every one of you can create a startup in esports any one of you can make your own team uh, make your own brand compete against each other compete in event and make a living out of it i mean this is how i started my esports journey as well during my initial days uh, i mean in the college days i used to be an esports athlete uh, trying to participate in events try to make a living out of it later i realized there is much more in esports it's not just about playing game or trying to win or trying to make a career that's when i slowly transitioned from being an esports athlete to creating something an ecosystem for esports athletes this is when i started my own company true reapers in initial days i used to do everything i don't know anything about esports okay so i started learning graphic designing making posters for the team making content for the team creating i mean multiple things i used to manage the team manage the players have brand pitch sales done uh, with so many brands i mean everything was very hard but i had my friends my family my cousins standing with me i mean helping me out in all stages later after initial few years i realized to run any company efficiently you need to have a chain of commands you need to have like minded people you need to hire managers who are set for the job and most of them they need to carry your ideology now ftr has lot of roles we have brand management teams we have social media teams we have multiple editors we have a legal team i mean understanding all these uh, roles or requirements took a lot of years for me i mean a founder has to go through all these things he need to understand what is required for his org or what is required for the company there are certain set of i uh, mean roles which he can integrate himself he can just hire managers or just start with a company with certain set of managers or brand things or something like that but a founder has to go through ups and downs to understand what works for his company esports is not a industry where you just invest in earlier and uh, try to make returns instantly it is slow org i mean it's a slow game you need to wait you need to understand it's a brand building industry anyone can come invest over here and make a brand and expect returns but you need to understand esports is still not gone there are a lot of untapped territories there are a lot of research or I mean a lot of things to understand over here so building things brick by brick is what makes an esports a different i mean a different thing at the end of the day esport org should always take care of multiple things i mean there are a lot of things to be focused on here in revenue wise there are prize pools they give huge chunk of prize pools just imagine you are getting crores of rupees every month and the biggest chunk out of it is 50 lakh 60 lakhs and you get it every month if you win you are gaining that but there are a lot of other things to look into it's not just about winning everything right you need to create a brand you need to create an ecosystem around esports you need to see you need to make merchandise you need to make loyal fan base to do that you need to cater these audiences with multiple contents you need to do live streams and you have to create this ecosystem where your own org your talent people can sell things sell things like merchandise sell uh, tickets the to make the people the fans to come to the online events or offline events and that's the biggest task of any esports right now esports events have already been telecasted in mainstream sports channels there are multiple events which have been getting high hits and that helps the org like us to reach other heights this industry has a lot of wings i mean i am talking about esports organizations who train people who make them better at the game right there are tournament organizers who create events who create ips where people can compete each other and win prize pools there are talent management or brand management agencies where uh, they just cater for the sponsorships or your monetary needs there are game publishers who gives constant updates to the games who actually give new new games to the community every industry in esports itself has a vast things to look into right there are advantages and disadvantages in both 
a typical esports athlete can never outshine himself or can only grow into certain stages if he is not in an org just imagine the athlete has to buy his own device and make sure the device is top end to play against one another and to have a stable internet connection in the in house it's it's a, it's a tough thing and india is still growing i don't think every house has a great internet connection where they have stable connections everywhere so orgs like us take care of all these things and esports athlete as his career is so small there are uh, esports athletes career as i said it was it's so small right so what they do is they create multiple streams of revenues as i said earlier these revenue streams has to be gone by us because we train them we give them pr we give them multiple aspects to grow as an individual to make their small time success into a long time career opportunity we the esports club or us we are trying to be one of the best esports club or the traditional club we need to surpass the traditional clubs which are overall in the world there are some football clubs there are some cricket clubs which have grown massively and we are trying to be outpassing them in in near future technology in this industry helps a lot there are multiple ai softwares which we have integrated ourselves they just look at the game strategies or give us counterparts where we can use it ourselves and demolish multiple teams and louis speaking about the technologies or the future of esports there are multiple ar and vr integrations already happening there are live broadcasts happening where people can interact with the players and change the course of the game as i said interactive broadcast is something different you just see players playing on the tvs or, or or on the big screens now you can see playing them on youtube or somewhere and you can chat with them and players can see while playing the game as well in conclusion if you are an esports athlete or if you are an esports fan if you are an esports enthusiast or someone who is trying to make a career out of esports esports is a vast industry and there are a lot of moving parts and esports need you guys esports need new ideas new innovations it's a billion dollar industry and getting a chunk a big chunk out of it is going to be very hard but with right mind right innovation right ideas right skill set we can do that if you are someone who is watching this or considering to be a part of esports just step in it's a big industry and you will be there you will be part of something very huge